and uh, the Rustify product, but mostly I'll just talk about the integration and then I'll actually be handing off um, for someone else to talk about the actual Rustify product and how it can help you save time with volunteering. So um, within Rustify, um, we have, um, I have this example user set up ready to go as part of the demo, but we have in our list of available integrations, um, the Blackboard integration. Uh, this is for NXT. The CRM um, integration is coming shortly uh, at the moment, right out of the box though, it's just NXT. Um, so when you set up the integration, you can choose, there's a heap of different settings um, to control things like which constituent codes should be synced with Rostify. For example, you might not want um, donors or board members or staff to be synced. So you just choose which Rostify user type is connected to which constituent code. You also then can choose which fields you want to sync. Um, so you can choose different linked fields um, from the fields that you create and define. Um, as well as some settings around syncing addresses, syncing lookup IDs. The lookup ID is the NXT um, lookup ID. You can either mean make that the Rostify ID um, or you might use lookup ID for your own purposes. So that's why that's a setting. You also then can sync um, other Rostify modules, for example, notes, actions, consents, or even relationships. And so if you capture, for example, an emergency contact or a parent in Rostify, you can then sync that by choosing which fields in Rostify match up to the NXT fields, and then we'll create the constituent and link the relationship between the initial volunteer and that related constituent. So um, this is the setup. There's a lot of settings to kind of customize the implementation to control how Rostify syncs up with NXT. One of the things I didn't mention off the top is also we create three fields, the um, total hours, total number of shifts, and total number of events. The events is a Rostify term for, um, it's part of our da data schema. Um, you could call it opportunities, you could call it um, activities. It's just a term where when someone is part of one of these, they'll then have many shifts. So on the CRM system, that's like a job. And then these would be timesheet entries. Similar concept in that someone signs up to an event or an activity um, and then does many shifts. So we sync then those three fields as well. So we'll sync across how many events they've signed up to or it, assigned to, um, the number of shifts they've done, and then the total hours as well. So if I jump over to NXT, um, here's the test user I'm playing around with, and I can see here they've got their... Um, I'm not sharing my screen. That's a good start. Cool. All right, well, it was helpful, but uh, all right. So let's just go this window. And I'll say that if anybody wants to put anything in the chat, chat. Why, why you, you do what you're, what you're interested in, in. Let, us know. let us know. Yes, sorry about that. Uh, so the um, screen I was going through was just this screen. It's really just choosing which fields you want to synchronize um, between the Rostify product and the um, NXT product. Um, and these are fields that you can create in Rostify. So you can create as many fields as you need to suit your business case or business workflow and then capture that data in Rostify and allow your volunteers to manage that data themselves in Rostify, and then we'll synchronize that with NXT. So this is the Rostify product. If I jump across to NXT, um, this is our tile. So this is our tile where you'll see things like the hours, the shifts, and the events coming through. But you'll also see it down here in the custom fields as well. So what that allows you to do is run reports. Um, you can report on things like engagement or maybe you know donors that have attended shifts or volunteered and get those hours all coming through. The tile is helpful because then you can click this view on Rostify button and it'll actually bring up the user in the Rostify in Rostify as well. Um, that's just loading them up here. So what I can do is I can quickly add them to a shift. So it might be, this is obviously doing it from the admin console. If it was a volunteer doing it themselves, they'll sign up through their own portal, but I'll put this person onto um, this shift here and we'll put them in as a confirmed user. So um, this is, yeah, it's full, that's fine. Um, so this user, we're just basically simulating them signing up to a shift. So if I come back over to NXT, refresh this page, um, I think they have to have attended the shift, so it might still just be on one here. Yeah, so let's just quickly check them in and we'll check them in at the shift start time. And then I will check them out as well. Um, some of the things Rustify can do is automate things like um, rewards and recognition for attending shifts. So on check-in, check you could earn points and then redeem those points for prizes or gifts. You can also do things like virtual badges based on volunteering hours. So um, now that I've done two shifts, if I come back over to NXT, 
um, we should be able to see that um, that box has updated now with my um, two shifts in 16 hours. So that's um, a really great way that you can then report across the two systems, things like hours and shifts. Um, we can also see here some of the things like the consents are updating. So the consents are being updated by actions in the Rostify portal. Um, and as I said, the volunteer can actually come in and manage their own data. Um, and then automatically you'll get that visibility coming through in NXT. The way we're doing that is through using the Sky API um, and webhooks. So when the data is updated in NXT, we get a webhook and then we will call the Sky API to basically synchronize data and call various constituent endpoints. And then if um, NXT, uh, if you make an update in Rostify, then we'll just kind of perform the same process, just triggered from the Rostify side, which is just calling those API endpoints and updating data. Um, so yeah, that's kind of a summary of the integration between Rostify and NXT. Was there any questions at that point? Don't believe so. Cool. Um, is someone else jumping on to talk about Rostify? Great. I'll stop sharing then and um, I will jump off for Sam to jump on, I believe. Okay. Okay, so we're going to have Sam jump up on stage if you want to see any more about roster five product, but um, I'm very interested to see what brought everybody to this theater today. Um, what if you have specific questions, what you were looking for? I will say right now we have the integration fully with Razor's Edge NXT. So this is kind of looked at as like an advanced mo uh, volunteer module. So it's going to give you the portal capability, but also the reporting and the admin management in the back end. Um, this is in progress using Sky API for BBCRM. So there's going to be integration for that that uh, Chris is working on. So if you have questions or you're interested in how we're building that out, we can walk through that um, at a future date or share best practices with you. And we, um, I know we have someone in here who's working on LO, so um, not sure how, if, if this is a use case for you, what you'd be looking to do. Um, but Rosterify as a platform is really ideal for the full onboarding, uh, training, approval, award recognition process to provide the superior volunteer experience. So it's a full experience management versus just admin. So if you have a Blackboard tool now, you're likely only able to um, store custom fields or it's all in database view. So this brings it onto the web for you. So you can have mobile app, you can send SMS reminders, you can check in, and it's meant to be more suited towards a consumer who's you know giving their time to volunteer for you. And I don't think that Sam is able to get up onto stage. Uh, yeah, we needed Heather to invite him up. But um, does anybody have any questions? Please throw it, throw it in the chat, or you can come join us, and we can just have a conversation um, and share the videos in. We are sorry in lounge three. So we're going to pop over there if I don't see anything coming in the chat. But really, the big selling feature of Rosterify, so it's, we're a BlackBot partner, but you're actually able to talk to your BlackBot sales rep. Um, they're enabled. They understand the product. And so like I said, it's basically being sold on as an advanced module for volunteering. And we've had people save up to you know eight hours a week by being able to streamline the process. Um, and that's not even with the NXT integration. The great bit about that is that you're going to be able to report back to your superiors and also report on the impact to your volunteers um, to show them what difference they're making. So if without any further ado, we're going to leave the theater and jump over to lounge number three. We'll see you there.